here and I am so so mad and welcome back to day 7 of the 12 outfits of Christmas. How are you all doing? Oh my word, I think it's a Tuesday. Um, normally it's after Christmas that I feel a bit discombobulated with the days of the week and so on. But this week, um, because I've got my big birthday on Thursday, um, I'm sort of all over the place. And I'm sorry about my hair, I've been rained on twice today so I've been absolutely soaked to the skin twice um, but welcome little Ali Boo sitting next to me here um, and so today um, I, I need to start saying the, um, the amazing thank yous really early on in this video I'm delighted with um, the the sharing the love of, of many of the YouTubers. Thank you if you've commented commented on either your own or someone else's channel. And it's just for fun. Don't forget, I just genuinely wanted to say thank you to the host creators. So I've got some footage coming up of me cutting out some bits and pieces. And I will be scrolling those name, names sorry, across that footage in order to fit them all in. Thank you, massive thank you to Hayley from um, uh, the Hay Meadow, um, lovely Judy from Running So and So. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch everybody's um, vlogs, but I know they have devoted some time to sharing the love and sharing the names of some amazing YouTube creators. So thank you, ladies. And it's just, a, it's just for fun. Um, but I will say that the list here is really long, um, and so I will be adding um, adding the names but let me just whiz through them quickly please so we've got let's start in reverse order shall we um as in these are the newer names added so we've got the wonderful so amelia thoughtful creativity so andy so's so happy nick verios i hope i've said that okay kim dave jess dang eloise and ezra ruth mcintyre um and, and those suggestions came from uh the gardening zebra um, so thank you very much. That was a really lovely message. Thank you, Gardening Zebra. Love your hashtag. Um, Stitch and Style, um, Nadia, uh, by Nad uh, so Stitch and Style with Nadia, sorry. Sparkle with Sam. Mitch who makes, um, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, then we've got Obviously Sewn on the Tyne um, from the lovely Northern Soul Sisters. Stacey Jo Studio from um, all the way from New Zealand. Hi Stacey. So, um, Soberton Makery. Um, Julie Sews Her Own Clothes. Uh, the wonderful Dahlia Society. Society amazing Kristen. Um, Stitch Rich Repeat. Hi Helen. Um, uh, Adam Sews. I, I, yeah, lovely, lovely channel. Hi, Adam. I'm not sure if you watch or not. Uh, so like Dottie, thank you for your lovely comment. I really appreciate that. And then Judy from Running So and So, Hayley from the Hay Mother, who I already mentioned. Um, what Beck Sews, Adele from Sofa Serenity. Um, so little time. Hi, Karen. Um, lovely Sewing Bunny, lovely Michelle, um, Angela from Dead and Thread Tales, Andrew from Beyond the Pink Door, um, Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl, and Rachel from Stitch Up. That is my list so far. There will be more to add and keep them coming, but I will I'll add all those names below and I, add to a, I aim to add them to a scrolling list and a little bit of footage. But anyway, the outfit of the day. Hi, Ali Boo. Um, she's a bit upset, so I've just moved her blankets. Um, so she's like, what do you mean you've moved my blankets? Um, so the outfit of, to of the day today is actually what I'm wearing. I appreciate you can't see it in great detail whilst I'm sitting down. But it is the amazing. Now I'm going to have a bit of a trio of Maison Fauve coming up. And I make no apology for that because I thoroughly enjoyed making their patterns. And today's make is the Atlas um, dress and blouse by Maison Fauve. It's got this amazing pleat detail on here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to um, some footage that, oh, that is, so switch to some footage that I um, created just over the last few days. I'm going to slice that in here now um, to show you the creation or some of the creating of this um, dress. And then I will come straight back to you. Don't go anywhere. Hi everyone, I thought I'd just slice in here and share with you where I'm at. So apologies for the portrait in this part. Looks like I've got a green screen, um, but I genuinely am standing in front of my own Christmas tree. Um, it's a very wet day today and I thought I'd crack on and make another Maison Fauve project. And I am making the Atlas dress um, by Maison Fauve. 
Um, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door has made a beautiful blouse in this, but I'm going for the dress version here. Um, and at some point I'll probably put the inspo photo in from Mason Faux themselves because it is a stunning dress. Perfect for um, the Christmas period because it's um, uh, not fitted at all. It's just a lovely flowy dress. So you can definitely hide a Christmas dinner in here. Um, I am making it from an amazing green twill that has been provided by Maison Fauve and some glorious buttons. Let me just reach over here um, and show you. Absolutely stunning glittery edge on these gold buttons and they are then bespokely made to match the green which is beautiful they're actually the same buttons that I've got on my um, trompeline trousers just stunning so I'm um, really looking forward to cutting this out so I have um, somewhere around here sandwiched in some fast footage of um, me cutting out and so on and um, me marking out the, um, the pleat lines, which really is the most complicated part of this dress. It has got a proper button placket on the front as well. Um, I'm, I might not actually make the buttonholes because um, uh, because this is a flush button packet, it's not one that's going to sit open at all. So, But we'll see. We'll see how it comes when, when I come to that. But yeah, I've got it all cut out and I've just marked up one side, which I'm going to go and sew. And then I'll mark up the other side and sew it. And that's mostly because I'm using a roller's tailor's chalk. Um, and if I was to mark out both sides whilst I'm working on one side, the other side is effectively getting rubbed off. So I shall um, fold it back up again and um, remark it. But yeah, um, I hope you've got some sewing going on wherever you're up to and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay, a quick update where I'm at. So once again, some portrait footage. So sorry about that, but it's the easiest way of showing you what I've been up to. So um, you'd have seen me in the earlier, um, earlier bit of footage there, cutting out and just generally talking about my prep for the Atlas dress. And then I made pretty good progress yesterday, actually. Um, I had a fight with the button placket is really the best way I could describe it. I don't know what I did, but um, I couldn't make this... Um, well, no, it looks absolutely fine now, but it took me um, a lot, a long time, much longer time to get that right. Um, the instructions are great, the, the pattern drafting is brilliant, the YouTube tu tutorial by Maison Fauve is great, but I don't know, um, I think it's mind over matter, so I stepped away from it for a bit and then went back to it. Um, you can see all these chalk markings on here, um, obviously that's from the marking out and so on, but it is super pretty. I absolutely adore these buttons. And what I'm really pleased about actually is um, I prefer a open neckline um, and quite often, I was trying to think of a blouse, so the Anthea Allen blouse for example, also, oh hang on a sec, I've got a, a visitor, hello Lars, hey! How you doing? She's got her Christmas jumper on. Um, well, bless her, sorry. Got completely sideballed by a, um, a, a whippet there. Sorry about that. So um, I was talking about the Anthea Allen blouse that's got the, um, it's also got a neckline like this, um, sort of a round neck. And I made that, I don't know if it's this year or last year actually, but I was really disappointed because it's quite high necked and it basically wouldn't sit open. Whereas this Atlas blouse or dress actually sits quite naturally open like that, which looks really nice. Um, the button placket isn't too low, which is nice. Um, I'm just having to play around here with um, how many buttons I want to have 
Um, okay, sorry about that, got cut off. The dreaded, your phone is full message. So yeah, the Anthea Allen blouse um, sits quite high necked, but doesn't sit open. And I think actually the, the blouse by Avid Seamstress is the same, but this actually does sit quite open, which is lovely. So really good progress. Um, so I've just got the um, the sleeves and the lovely cuff plackets to do. And actually the cuff placket has got the same um, folds on it, same pleats as this um, on it. But obviously they sit horizontally um, on the, the button, uh, on the cuff band. So I don't think that'll too, take too long. And it's obviously finished with a... Uh, a bias bound neck which is really nice so yeah it's come together really really nicely as do all of the Maison Fauve but anyway let me get back to the video so I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the creation of this dress I thought I'd do it a little bit differently today um, I thoroughly enjoyed making this and now that I'm and now that you've seen that I've made it let me put some footage in here or some photos or something or other um, I hope you can see let me just stand up the detail on the cuff here as well oh yeah you can see it there look it's beautiful look look at that I mean have you ever seen a detail like that on a dress or something before look it's stunning really cleverly done um, the sleeves are quite full they're quite long so I've been sitting down for a while that's why it's a little bit crumpled um, absolutely adore these buttons look absolutely lovely just beautiful um, and I think let's sit back down I think you can see I think I've done a little video you can see the length of the, of the dress and things it actually came to below my knees so I decided to take that up um, quite a bit um, and actually I just folded it up so it's got a nice heavy hem which helps it sit this fabric is available on the Maison Fauve website as are these beautiful buttons um, it's actually a really nice heavy weight twill which is perfect for this time of the year it does crease a little bit as you can see because I've been wearing it but testament to a lovely pattern I finished this um, finished this at the weekend and immediately knew that I wanted to wear it today and today I was um, fortunate enough to be out with members of my family for a lovely family get together and lunch to celebrate um, my birthday my twins birthday and it's also my stepmom's birthday all on the same day on Thursday so that's really nice um, it's also my auntie Sue's birthday on Friday but we somehow never talk about her birthday um, but I had a lovely lovely day out and I love it when you can just finish a dress and straight out to wear it um, I, yeah the next couple of days um, I'm not sure they're gonna be really short videos for me I think over the next couple of days um, and very possibly my thank you screens will be bigger I might have to leave those out for the next couple of days or something I'm not sure but um, I have got um, some beautifully busy days coming up over the next couple of days so I hope you enjoyed today's little slice it's quite a short one today from me but the seventh day, uh, seventh outfit of Christmas definitely is the uh, is the atlas. And don't worry, today I'm not going to sing on the seventh day of Christmas. My sewing machine made for me um, an atlas dress from Maison Fauve. <laughs> <laughs> I will do a complete rundown over the next couple of days. But have a lovely evening, everybody. Um, stay safe and well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to leave me a comment on your favourite YouTubers. Let's pass on the love and say some massive thank yous to all of those. And I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.